Bitcoin broke out to the downside guys from this rising wedge formation. I'm going to show you in today's video whether I think Bitcoin is going to meet the target of this pattern and I'm going to show of course uh, yeah, what the actual target is and what I think which levels Bitcoin might find support and yeah might continue in a uptrend. Then guys I want to show you this chart right here as well showing you some evidence that Bitcoin might be starting right now the fifth impulse wave up which will bring the price of bitcoin above a hundred thousand us dollars by this year and by the latest the beginning of next year so that's going to be very interesting i'm also going to share one specific chart with you guys which is uh, going to be a very significant chart in order to confirm the bullish scenario for bitcoin and uh, yeah so you, you you really don't want to miss that guys i think that's one of the most important charts to get that extra confirmation that bitcoin is going to see uh yeah breaking the um or going towards hundred thousand us dollars and breaking this level so guys all about that in today's video with that being said my name is sharon welcome to the blockchain today the channel where you subscribe for daily crypto videos right now let's jump into the bitcoin price action and guys first of all Let's dive into the uh, yeah, short term time frame right here on Bitcoin. We are looking at the four hourly chart. And yeah, something that is already quite interesting is that uh, yeah, yesterday we broke the uptrending support of the RSI, of the momentum right here. We did that already before we actually broke that rising wedge pattern. And this is something I'm teaching very often right here on the channel. So yeah, I hope most of you guys were aware of this. But yeah, we broke that. Uh, we broke the, eventually we, the price broke the uptrending support right here of this rising wedge. We got that signal before in the momentum indicator. And yeah, right now is the question, what is, the, what is Bitcoin going to do? Well, first of all, guys, the breakout right here is not looking too significant yet. We are not seeing a crazy amount of volume and we are not seeing a huge reaction in the price where Bitcoin is uh, we yeah where Bitcoin is like crazy dumping. We have seen some reaction, right? The moment we break the support, we are we have seen a drop. But nothing that severe yet not like not not a not a huge confirmation like okay right now we are changing directions it's not a confident breakout what we are seeing right here not a crazy amounts of volume which is surpassing previous amounts no it's actually quite low amounts of volume and yeah we are already seeing quite a bounce uh, right here at a horizontal support level i can draw a line right there as well which is at give or take um, 37,700. Uh, as you can see this level has been acting as resistance in the past and yeah right now so far this level is holding support so this is one of the possibilities of course that bitcoin is finding support right here like i said in my video yesterday guys is i do expect it is possible that bitcoin is going to break out to the downside right here we are getting squeezed within the uh yeah the uptrending support of this rising wedge pattern and that horizontal resistance at give or take 42,000 us dollars and uh, if we were to break out to the downside guys what i've been saying is that um it's definitely possible to break out to the downside but most likely in my opinion we will be forming something like a higher low where we can the price is coming down but we are not going to reach the target of the rising wedge pattern the target is normally the um the bottom of the rising wedge which right now in this specific case would be slightly above 32,000 us dollars i personally don't think that bitcoin is going to reach the target um but there are some levels which we have to watch the first level that we are right now holding on support is approximately 37,700 that's an interesting level i think we still could break that level to the downside that's possible but what is very important for the shorter term time frame guys is that we are holding this former resistance level of that declining channel because if we were to break back into this channel yeah then the chances significantly increases that we are going to test the uh, bottom of the rising wedge and therefore going to meet the target of that pattern um yeah like i said right now i don't think that that's really the case i don't think that's the that is the most likely scenario um however it was likely for bitcoin to break out to the downside and in, in eventually to set a high low right here and to get another attempt like we did right here where we got a sell off already before we actually tested 42,000, but that we yeah come back at 42,000 slightly stronger and have um, yeah some more momentum some more strength to actually blast through it 
I still expect guys this breakout to the downside didn't change my view on what I think is going to happen with Bitcoin I think in the midterm perspective we are seeing such bullish signs right here bullish divergence on the daily time frame we broke the declining resistance on the daily time frame so still a lot of bullish signs I still expect Bitcoin to continue this uptrend however in this consolidation we might spend some more time and in the broader sense right here you can say that the consolidation um yeah it's a sideways channel where we are trading in right now and let me draw a uh, sideways channel for you guys for approximately right here where we have the resistance and the support coming in around here so bitcoin is still moving within this channel i don't expect bitcoin due to the fact that we have seen those breakouts in the momentum indicators i don't expect bitcoin to really yet yeah, trade in the lower band of this channel too much and eh, that uh, due to the fact that we are seeing that bullish signals i think we are getting slowly uh, going to the resistance right here and eventually going to break that level afterwards is going to be of course very important how bitcoin is going to react at the next key uh, levels which i've been mentioning in my previous videos as well and uh, which i will mention in my coming videos uh, once we have seen that breakout so guys really make sure to subscribe to the channel hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i upload a new video talking about all these important levels then guys i want to share another chart with you and this is one chart i've shared over on my twitter and for every single one of you who's not following me over on twitter yet make sure to following me over on twitter i leave my twitter link down below in the description of this video but what we basically could be seeing right now guys and this is actually quite a significant chart i have to say is that bitcoin might be starting right now with the fifth wave the fifth impulse wave to the upside which could bring the price of bitcoin above uh, yeah above hundred thousand us dollars most likely still this year but it is also possible that eventually we will continue till the beginning of next year this is something i've already been saying for quite some time and i still do believe that that is that that is the fact and why guys why is it so important why is this count this elliott wave count so important um well normally it's it's actually quite difficult to have a correct elliott wave count but one of the easy methods to get a nice wave count is to count certain corrections and in elliott wave theory we have abc corrections and when you can recognize those abc corrections it is easier to state uh, where the next first wave is coming from right so right here we can also see and this is actually the end of a bigger uh, right where the bottom we have seen in march 2020 can be the the end of a abc uh, correction in the bigger uh, grander scheme of things i've been talking about that as well um but if we have a look within this uptrend we had two very clear abc corrections one was right here we had a abc correction and one was recently like uh, the correction we have seen recently also looks like a typical abc correction and that is the um yeah that is one of the reasons why i'm thinking that um right now bitcoin could be start starting the fifth wave up which could take several months right and could even uh, continue within the beginning of next year but will be a wave which um, bring bitcoin above 100,000 us dollars and eventually that will be the cycle top right here from this bull cycle in bitcoin and which will be followed by a larger um yeah larger correction also known as a bear market so that is something that i'm i'm looking at right here i think it is actually quite interesting uh and i think that there is quite a high like likelihood that we are going to see something like this i saw somebody else tweeting uh, a chart on twitter which i thought was actually quite interesting it's called year of the bull let's click on this chart let's have a look guys what i want what i wanted to show you so guys what this person basically is stating that every cycle bitcoin recovers from its previous bear market zero to one as we can see right here then exceeds the recovery by the golden ratio 61.80 percent of the downside marked at uh, yeah 1.618 every cycle after exceeding above this level bitcoin has tested this level for support before so what we are seeing right here is that uh yeah the moment we 
break the uh, previous all-time high and we uh, exceed above this level above this special golden ratio level the price is coming back down and back testing this level as support we have seen that right here in 2013 we have seen that right here in 2017 where we actually it is slightly above the previous all-time high so the price is not coming down to test the previous all-time high we didn't do that in 2013 we didn't do that in 2017 as well but it takes that um it takes that Fibonacci level slightly above it, above it and that's quite interesting because that is the same level that Bitcoin has seen the correction from right now and another interesting thing guys is that if we use the Elliott wave count and let me have a look at the chart where we um, have those Elliott wave count so guys when we have a look at the wave counts right here and we measure the Fibonacci retracement tool from the bottom of the second wave right here till the top of the third wave right here at approximately 65,000 US dollars then you can see that the correction we have seen so far in Bitcoin has come down to exactly the 61.80% so that is actually quite significant guys and that's also one of the reasons why I think um, we might have finished the corrections I actually think we have finished the correction and um, that's also why I think why this wave count is such significant then guys I'm going to show you one specific chart which is a chart i have been talking very much about uh, in my previous videos and this is a chart which is interwoven with the bitcoin chart and this is a very good predictor of the bitcoin chart we we have used this chart very often to make correct predictions right there on the channel most of you who are already following me for quite some time would know which chart i'm talking about but before we are jumping into the chart guys make sure to scroll below this video hit the thumbs up button guys that's very much appreciated and if you haven't been subscribed to the channel make sure to subscribe hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever i upload a new video then guys for all the traders out there who are interested in trading bitcoin and a variety of altcoins like Aave or sushi against us dollar xrp anyhow i would definitely recommend you to use the bybit platform but the bybit exchange is one of the best exchanges to yeah to trade bitcoin and a variety of altcoins with leverage this is however for experienced traders but for everyone who's interested in creating an account over on the bybit exchange i have my affiliate link down below in the description and in the pinned comment and if you use my specific affiliate link to sign up on the bybit platform you can get a additional bonus of 1600 us dollars so for every single one of you who is a uh, experienced trader who wants to trade with margin uh, i would highly recommend you to use the bybit platform and right now could be a good opportunity to sign up due to the fact that you can get exposure to this huge bonus of 1600 us dollars so guys for everyone who's interested in that you can find my affiliate link down below then let's dive into this chart where i have been talking about and that is of course the dixie chart the us dollar index and i want to go on the weekly time frame so guys what is the dixie chart and why is it so important for the price of bitcoin actually to predict the price of bitcoin right well first of all the the dixie chart is the us dollar index and the reason why it is so significant is due to the fact that there is a inverse correlation between the dixie and the bitcoin price and let me show you what i mean right here guys so we click right here on compare i'm going to add bitcoin against the us dollar right here on a new price scale so guys right here we can see that the moment the us dollar index bottomed right here in approximately 2013 2014 this is a macro indicator of course we can see that bitcoin actually topped and when bitcoin went into a bear market we have seen the opposite happening with the us dollar index the us dollar index went into a bull market and saw a nice rally then the moment the us dollar index right here is topping out and entering that bear market entering a downtrend the opposite is happening with bitcoin bitcoin was at that moment like just entering this bull market and going to uh, yeah, these crazy highs afterwards we can see the us dollar index again has seen a bottom and that was as well the moment approximately approximately so this is a macro indicator guys that bitcoin topped out and eventually we had this bear market in bitcoin and the us dollar index continued to grow right right here we have seen something similar the us us dollar index topped out approximately right here that was around march yeah it was in march 2020 exactly when bitcoin bottomed and we have seen 
the same thing again the us dollar index goes into a downtrend while bitcoin goes into a uptrend right now the us dollar index is in a very very important um yeah, for important place we have tested a key support level and right now we are seeing a bounce and it's normal for the us dollar index to see a bounce from this level uh just like normally it's we are not breaking a support the first time we try it as we are not breaking resistance the first time we try it as well so but for bitcoin guys to really go to these levels uh, above 100,000 us dollars the us dollar index in my opinion has to break this horizontal support level because we have to see a decline of the us dollar index in order for bitcoin to yeah to make that rally again like we have seen in the past due to the fact that we have this inverse correlation and what we actually can see right now is so far quite bullish i have to say right now the us dollar index is approaching resistance any momentum on the weekly time frame um which which tells us that most likely the chances that we are getting rejected is of course higher than that we are breaking out if we were to break the resistance and we would were to see a rally in the us dollar index then of course i would see that as a bearish sign on bitcoin however i don't think that is going to happen right now i do think that that is going to happen in the future i do think definitely that this is going to happen in the future but i don't think right now i think in the near future right here the us dollar index is going to break this level sooner or later and the moment we are breaking this level guys that is the moment that we are going to see a massive massive rally in the price of bitcoin because as you can see this decline in the us dollar index that was the decline what was it of approximately um a decline of approximately 14 to 15 percent a decline of let's say 15 percent um like mirrored the whole bull market in 2016 and 2017 if we were to break this key support level then the next major support yeah would be right here i would say but i think the next major support would be right here and that would be a decline of approximately let's say slightly more than the decline we have seen in 2016 2017 so that would be actually a crazy manifestation if we are going to see something like that in the chart i think it's possible however sooner or later i do think this is going to reverse after bitcoin is seeing a top uh, later this year or might it, it might be in the next year i do think that we are going to see uh, eventually uh, the us dollar index breaking out and yeah going seeing a huge bounce from might be from this major support level it's too early to say right now but um there comes a time of course that we are going to see a bounce and a uptrend back in the dixie chart because that is just how markets work right we are we are going from one extreme to another but i think right now we are at the yeah we are at a crossroad in the dixie chart and i think the, it's more likely that we are going to break that horizontal support and if we are going to break um that support level that is going to be to be the moment that we have more proof more confirmation that bitcoin really is going to these extraordinary levels which will bring bitcoin above 100,000 us dollars and might bring bitcoin even way above these levels so that is quite interesting right now we are still seeing a bounce from this support so so far we are still seeing a bounce on the rsi it is quite interesting because if we have a look at the daily rsi we can see that the bounce on the rsi is actually quite um high which normally is a bearish sign for the uh for the dixie chart because we can see right here that the top we have been setting at approximately what is it approximately 93.3 right now is being met almost at the momentum but the yeah the the value of the dixie chart is way lower so that's normally a bearish sign um but the yeah the most bearish sign right here i would definitely say that is the horizontal support uh zone right here which would be approximately slightly below slightly above approximately the level of 90 but okay guys that was it for today's video i hope you enjoyed today's analysis guys let me know what you think is going to happen with the bitcoin price what do you expect is going to happen with bitcoin in the immediate short-term time frame and do you think same like me that we are going to yes yeah, start the next uptrend quite soon right here the moment we are breaking 42 000 us dollars guys let me know what you think is going to happen with the price of bitcoin i'm very curious if you like today's analysis make sure to scroll below this video and hit the thumbs up button 
button. That is very much appreciated. Make sure to subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. Then guys, I want to wish every single one of you a awesome day ahead and I will see every single one of you in the next video.